So good morning everybody. Today we have two lessons. Topic number one, writing a letter of application. And topic number two, Fontaine, they read. Prasot kemi dy orë së bashku, në orën e parë, do meremi me shkrimin e një letër aplikimin, dhe në orën e dytë, do diskutëm rrëth Fantajn, pra, titulohet Derit Kutso. What are the learning outcomes? The learning outcomes of the first topic are to analyze the tip and how to write a letter of application. Analyze the structure of a letter of application, read the model and identify the main paragraphs of a letter, and write the letter applying for a job. Pra, cilët e jenë rezultatet e të nëzënit në temën e parë? Së në fillim, të analizojmë një letër aplikimi. Të analizojmë strukturën e kësaj letre, të ledzojmë modelin dhe të identifikojmë cilët janë paragrafit kërësorët e letrës, dhe të shkruajmë pas një letër aplikimi për një punë. While at the second topic, you are going to revise some of the vocabulary learned in Unit 7, complete the quiz and correct the false statements, read and listen to the song and get the meaning of the new words, sing the song by heart. Pra, në temën e dytë, do përsërisim disa nga fjallet që kemi marrë të pësimi në mështatë, do plëtsojmë quizin dhe do korrigjojmë fjallit e cilët janë gabim, do redzojmë dhe do të gjojmë këngën, dhe do marrëm kuptimin e fjallve të reja, dhe dhe pas do mundohemi të këndojmë këngën. So, let's start. Open your books on page 91. First, let's see what is a letter of application. Letter emails of applications for a job are usually formal in style. They consist of a formal greeting, dear sir or dear madam, when we don't know the person name, and dear Mrs. Smith, for example, when we don't we know the person's name. It consists of an introduction in which we write our open remark and reasons for writing, a main body consisting of two or more paragraphs in which we write our age, present job, studies, qualification, experience and personal qualities. It consists of a conclusion in which we write our closing remark and a formal adding yours faithfully when we don't know the person's name or yours sincerely when we know the person's name. So, pra, leta për këthem. Qëpar është një letra aplikimi për një pun? Zakonisht janë formale në shkrim. Pra përdorim uh, formën Shkrimin zyrtar E fillojmë me I dashur zotri Ose zoj Nëse nuk e dim emrin Ose I dashur zoti Smith Ose zonja Smith Kërë dim emrin e personit Ka një hyrje Në të cilën ne të shkruajmë Pjalit hyrse Dhe arsyet sepse po shkruajmë Ka paragrafin kryesor, në të cilët, për, cili përbëhet nga dy ose më shumë paragrafe, në të cilët ne shkruajmë moshën, prezentojmë punën, studimet, kualifikimet, eksperiencen, të cilësit personale e të tjera. Një përfundim, në të cilët ne shkruajmë fjalit mbyllëse, dhe në fund, një fjali përfundimi, yours faithfully, pra sinqerisht i uaj, kur nuk e dim emin e personi, or your sincerely kredim emrin e person. So, let's see a letter of application. Let's show him a letter of application. Uh, let's have a look. Dear sir or madam, I want to ask for the position of wildlife biologist which was advertised in the Daily Gazette on Monday, 24th of November. I have a degree in zoology from the University of Glasgow 
and I have recently completed a master's degree in wildlife biology and conservation. Over the past year, I have been working part-time as an assistant zookeeper at Better Sea Park Children's Zoo where I help the feeding and general care of the animals. I also work as a volunteer for the RSPCA in the South East London area where I am in charge of rehoming stray cats and dogs. I think I am a dedicated and hard-working person and I believe in the welfare and care of animals. I am also reliable and a good worker, both individually and as part of a team. I would like it if you would consider me for the, for the position. Here is my curriculum vitae and two references. I can come and see you whenever you like and you can reach me anytime. I can't wait. Yours faithfully, Clara Berry. So, in which paragraph does Clara state her availability for an interview? It's in a paragraph. Clara, yep, Kadishmarina sai per një intervjis. So, availability, Kadishmari. In paragraph number five, it says here, you can reach me anytime. Okay? I can see you whenever you like. State her reasons for writing. Pa je par svijet se pse poškrua. In paragraph number one. So, I want to apply for the position of wildlife biologist. Describe her experience. Papushkuan experience and aside. In paragraph number three. So, here it is. She has been working part time as an assistant zookeeper, etc. Present. Present her qualification. Present on qualifikimet aside. In paragraph number two, I have a degree in zoology from the University of Glasgow. Describe her personal qualities. Papushkuan, cilsite sai personale. Paragraph number four, I think I am dedicated, hard-working person. Pa jam personi dedikuar, që punon shum. So, here, here are her personal qualities. Let's have a look at the new words. Apply for. Aplikoi per. Assistant. Assistant. At your convenience. Kurto duash. Curriculum vitae. Sivia. Dedicated. I dedikuar. Enclose. Pranda nazarf. Grateful. Mirnyose. In charge of. Dreitoi. Individually. Individualist. Position. Position. Punctual. Iperpict. Reference. Referenza. Reliable. Ibesuashen. Stray. Kafshet të cilet nuk kam pronar. Pra kafshet e rrugës. Stray animals. Welfare. Mirqenje. Good. So, let's continue with exercise number two. This is going to be your homework. Replace the informal phrases AH in the letter with their equivalent formal ones. Below to correct the style. Netaseza Gaia Deite Kaya. Keni fjali të cilët janë formale. Jo formale, do t'i zëvëndësoni me fjali të cilët janë formale. For example, I want to ask for, unë dua t'ju pyes për, me këtë do t'a zëvëndësoni. 
I think I am. Men doj se jam. A good worker. Një puntori mirë. I would like it. Do të dëshiroja ata. Here is. Ja ku është. I can come and see. Unë mund të vi dhe të shikoj. You can reach me. Ju mund të arrini të këmua. Pra, fjalit që keni të këksti, do t'i zëvëndësoni me fjalit që keni më poshtë. Nga njëshi, te i të këteta. Kjo dhe e dhe tyra ju e shtëpis. Pra, unë nuk po ju e a përgjigjet, po pres përgjigjet e ju e a. And writing a letter of application. Pra, si të shkruaj një letter aplikimimi. Now it is your turn to write a letter of application. Pra, është radha juaj të shkruaj një letter aplikimi. I'm giving you a model. Po ju japë një model. Dear sir or madam, I am writing to apply for the position of web designer, which was advertised in the Daily Telegraph on Tuesday the 2nd of August. I have a degree in computer science from the University of London, and I have recently completed a master's degree in web design. I can also speak Spanish very well. I have been working part-time as a web designer for the last three months. I have set up 10 websites already. I consider myself a dedicated and hard-working person. I am very creative and I pay great attention to detail. I am also reliable and I work well both alone and as part of a team. I would be grateful if you would consider me for the position. Please find and close my curriculum vitae and two references. I am available for an interview at your convenience and I can be contacted any time. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours faithfully, Mario Banda. So, you have to write an email, a letter of application, just like this. Një letër aplikimi, ta mamë si kjo, por për një pun, qëfar do që dëshiron juve. Ok? So this is the end of the first hour. Kjo është përfundimi i orës së parë. Now let's continue with the second hour. Pra, të fillojmë me orën e dytë. Open your books on page 92. Pra do t'ja vi librat të faqa 92. What is the job? Cila është puna? I protect important people. Secret service agent. I catch crabs. Crabs. Gafora. Crab fisherman. I help build roads. Construction worker. I help customer in a bank. Bank clerk. I study ocean life. Marian biologist. I help students decide on a career. Career guidance counselor. I dig coal out of ground. Coal miner. I clean chimneys. Chimney sweep. I light and maintain lamps. Lamp lighter. I work underwater. Aquanaut. So these are some of the jobs which we have taken together in lesson number seven. Exercise number two. Do the quiz. Mark the sentences true or false. Correct the false statements. Pra, do vendosin nëse fjallit janë të vërteta ose të gabuara, gjithashtu do korigjoni dhe fjallit të cilet janë gabim. Me që këtu nuk keni vënd, atër do të shkroni me fletore. Bomb disposal experts wear special protective suit. This is true. William Murdoch invented coal. This is false, and you have to correct it. He discovered coal gas burned brightly when lit. The Aquarius Reef Base is off the coast of Florida. This is true. The Aquarius Reef Base 
is 300 meters beneath the surface of the sea. This is false. You have to correct it. It is about 20 meters below. Soot comes from burning coal. This is true. Heller Keller was born deaf. This is false. She became deaf at about 19 months old. Helen Keller was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. This is true. Nowadays, chimneys sweep no longer exist. False. Today, chimney sweeps are back in business. There are 10 undersea research stations. This is false. There, are only one, there is only one so far. The Aquarius Reef is only used by NASA. And this is false. It is also used by Marian biologists. So you have to write this one in your copybook. Good. Now let's go to the song. Read the title. These words phrases appear in the song. What is it about? Let's only title it. There it. Kudzon. Kato fjall jan na tekst. Pachvar me doni sërsht kanga. Let's see. Brave. Trim. Fearless. Që ska frik. Risk lives. Rezikon njetën. Harsh condition. Kushe të vështira. Face dangers. Përbalesh me rezikun. Show fear. Tregon freak. Meet a challenge. Perbalon një sfit. Stand still. Qëndron pa levizur. Take a risk. Mer persiper rezike. Lose courage. Hum kurajon. Motivate. Motivon. Bring out your best. Ndjer më të mire. So, what is the song about? The song is about being brave and facing challenges. Pra kënga është rreth të qenë në ritrim dhe të përbalesh me rezikët. So let's listen to the song. their lives time and again they work in the harsh conditions and they never once complain they may face great danger but they never show their fear for when they meet a challenge all their worries disappear make life an adventure make your life a thrill nothing new can happen if you let your life stand still don't be scared to take a risk, don't be afraid to fall Life is full of challenges and you can face them all Dare it Dare it Dare it Try not to lose courage when life puts you to the test Risk can motivate you and bring out your very best Sometimes things seem scary but you mustn't be afraid See a chance and take it, that's how history is made Make life an adventure, make your life a thrill Nothing new can happen if you let your life stand still Don't be scared to take 
Take a risk, don't be afraid to fall. Life is full of challenges and you can face them all. Make life an adventure. Make your life a thrill. Nothing new can happen if you let your life stand still. Don't be scared to take a risk, don't be afraid to fall. Life is full of challenges and you can face them all. I would like you to learn it by heart if you can and try to sing it and send me a copy of the song. And with this, I think we finished today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>